just like that with that sound and giving it a sniff because it's worth sniffing. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my August favorites here for you today. So I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites and then I have some skincare, hair care, body care, fashion, jewelry type things, and yeah, just some good things to share. So let's jump into it. For my overall Friday favorites for eyes, I have to go with my Modern Renaissance palette. I've really been enjoying this again this month, just playing with more like cool toned eye looks. I love this palette, it's amazing. And then I've also been reaching for my Makeup Geek foiled shadows a lot this month. So that would be another one that I would say, yes, is an overall monthly favorite because I just have pretty much kept this out, this palette out a lot and just been playing with a lot of different shades. I love them. I think they're amazing quality. They're beautiful. They're awesome. For blush, I'm going with my Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Cherry Truffle. Oh my goodness. I love this blush so much. This came in that QVC set, the For the Love of Chocolate, and this is by far my favorite thing in the set. I love that whole set, but this blush, I'm just like stinking obsessed with. It is the most beautiful. I've already shown swatches of all this stuff in Friday Favorites, but just a quick one because it's so pretty. This is just the most beautiful, like warm, neutral sort of color. It's amazing. Cherry Truffle is a great name for it. It's just gorgeous. Blends into the skin like a dream. So easy to work with. I love these blushes, but this color is especially gorgeous. For lips, I have to go with Maybelline's Gone Grage. I have just fallen in love with this lipstick color this month. I feel like it's so edgy and different and cool and 90s and just a little bit grungy because it's neutral, but it's very cool toned. It's just a really neat color. So today I'm wearing it with um, Max Stone Lip Liner, and I feel like they just pair really nicely together. So if you're looking for a lip liner to wear with this, I think stone is a really good match. A couple of makeup -y favorites that I've not mentioned in Friday favorites. I have two highlighters that I've really been enjoying this month. First off, Ofra's Beverly Hills. Oh my goodness. This is probably the most pigmented makeup item I think I've ever had. Like in the top five for sure, because this is no joke. You have to be really careful with this. Like I'm just gonna barely like tap my finger in a couple of these colors. They are ridiculously pigmented, but this is so beautiful. I mean, you swirl it all together and it's just gorgeous. You can wear this on your eyes. Wear this as a highlighter. It's just amazing. But literally what I do is I just like, t I just go like, loop, just like that with that sound, loop, with my brush in it because it's so pigmented. You just have to be really, really careful with it but it's beautiful, it blends into the skin really nicely, it wears well, it is just an amazing highlight. And you have lots of different options here. You can swirl them all together, you can kind of concentrate your brush on just a couple of them, wear them as eyeshadows. So it's incredible, I love this highlighter. I've also been really loving my Kathleen Lights and Makeup Geek Highlighter Palette. First off, it's just beautiful to look at, so I love the packaging, I love how sleek it is, it's just really like fancy and high quality feeling. So I love the packaging. I love the pattern inside. It's beautiful. But these are really nice highlighters. Now I really haven't played with this one very much because it's, it's too dark for me as a cheek highlight, but I want to try it on my eyes or as a blush topper, but I haven't remembered to do that yet. But I've been playing with these a lot this month. This one the most, and then this one second. Let me show you the third one as well. Now these are, these are highlighters that I thought when I first swatched them on my hand, they still swatch nicely, but I thought they were going to have to be built up on my cheekbones, but they really don't. Now they're not like the Ofra one where it's like, you have to be really careful with them because they're, because that one's so pigmented. It's not like that, but it's definitely like once you get it on your cheeks, I mean, it really has a lot of payoff. Like it is a beautiful highlight. It has some great pigmentation. Like I said, not to the point of the Ofra one, but definitely more than it looks like in a swatch. So pretty. I love it. I've been using it a lot this month. I've been wearing the Ofra one more, but I got this one later in the month. So once I got this one, I was kind of like alternating between the two. At the beginning of the month, I was wearing the Ofra one 
every single day. A skincare favorite this month would be my Glam Glow. This one is the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I think this one's just fun, to be honest. Like, I do feel like it tightens up my skin and just really makes everything look smoother and nicer, so I do feel like it works. But I really just kind of like the experience of using it because it starts out kind of white and then turns silver like a tin man and it smells really good. I don't even know how to describe it, like vanilla or candy or something. So it smells amazing. And then it's just fun. Like you paint it on. I keep mine in the little, I don't know why I keep it in the little package, but I do. It stays in the package. So you paint it on with a little cute brush, so that's fun. And then you look all like bright white, and then it starts to change and you look like a tin man once it's ready to be peeled off. Now the key to this is it's a peel off mask, so you want to get it thick enough so that you can like get a grip on it. But I like this one because if you do get it a little bit thicker, it actually comes off your skin. Sometimes I get anxiety over peel off masks because I'm like, I can't get it like off of my face. Where this one actually works. Like if you have it a little bit thicker, you can get it and then it'll really like peel nicely without being uncomfortable or painful to peel it off your face. So I don't know, I feel like it does work. I feel like I do notice a difference in my skin. It just looks, um, smoother, like it's supposed to be a firming treatment, so I feel like it, it does make everything look firmed, but then also it's just fun to play with. It's a fun experience. A hair care favorite, I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned this to y'all. I'm not 100% though. I think I have though, but I'm still using it and still loving it, so I wanted to mention it again. That's the thing with hair stuff with me. I really don't like veer off the path of my favorites, like I'll try something new, every so often, and if I like it, I will stick to it for months. So I've been using this for several months now um, and pretty much haven't switched out most of my hair routine that I can think of. Anyway, this one I love. It's the It's a 10 Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. When I had a haircut, like, I don't know. I mean, I've had one since then, but like the first time that she used it on my hair, might have been like even like a year ago, I really could tell a difference. Like she used it right before she blow dried my hair and I really could tell a difference in the volume. Now, I didn't blow dry my hair today because it wasn't a hair washing day, but on hair washing days, I put it right at my roots and really kind of like scrub it in and I do feel like it gives some volume at my roots because that's really like where my hair is the flattest is at the roots because I have very fine hair and it's like very baby, fine and soft. So I need some texture. This gives a little bit of texture, a little bit of volume without making my hair weird. So really do like it. And it's lasted a long time. Like I've had this probably at least three or four months and I feel like it's still pretty full. So that's good because it's like 20 something dollars and I don't like buying hair stuff a lot. You know what I mean? I'd rather buy a lipstick than a hair product. Anyway, a body care favorite this month is this scent from Bath & Body Works. This is the Golden Pear and Brown Sugar. Now, I just got these the other day, but I do have some like small lotions that I had coupons for that I've been using those this month and loving because this scent is so yummy. It's really my favorite one I've tried from Bath & Body Works in a long time. Um, let me look at the, the keynotes. Bartlett pear, brown sugar, almond cream, vanilla praline, and toasted hazelnut. Oh my gosh, because those are kind of my favorite scents is like vanilla, coconutty, like this isn't coconutty, but like vanilla and coconut, those are usually my favorites, but I love it when they have like a little like spin on them and they're a little bit sweet. They're already sweet, but adding in something even more. So this is sweet, but it's vanilla has a little bit like of a warmth to it. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. This packaging is also really pretty too. Like I love that packaging. I had a coupon for these too, so I got these on a good deal as well, but really beautiful packaging, but they just smell amazing. So if you haven't smelled this scent, I would definitely recommend going to Bath & Body Works and giving it a sniff because 
it's worth sniffing because it's so yummy smelling. I have a couple of fashion jewelry type favorites. First off, these coil bracelets from Twisted Silver. I think these are so cool looking. Now they started off larger, but Timothy kind of like smushed them down for me so that they fit me better now because I have really small wrists like most, most bracelets and bangles and stuff like that don't fit me. So I like that these can be kind of like almost sized down. This one is a little bit more challenging to size down than this one, but they're so cool looking. If you follow me on Snapchat, you probably saw like a arm party of the day <laughs> type post that I did with this one because it stacks really well. Now with these, you can either wear them like further up on your arm to kind of be like a, just a really cool kind of like accent on your arm. I think that's really cool looking. I mean, you could even push them up further um, depending on like how you squish it and size it and whatever. So they can be worn like that or they can be worn lower on your wrist and they just stack really well with other things. Like that's how I've been loving this one the most is stacked with other things. It just really like works well with a whole arm party. So I think they are, there we go, got it off. I think they're so cool looking and really high quality. I love the little dangly coin. I haven't really worn them in videos because this makes noise and in a video you wouldn't be able to hear me talking. But in life, I've been wearing them a lot, especially this one. And I have been all about chokers this month. I have different chokers of different colors, shapes, sizes, lengths, textures, all different kinds, and I just love them. I like to kind of like layer them together. I think it's really cool, and I think they're just 90s and fun. And these are all from Etsy, so I would just say, go on Etsy, search for, you know, like, wrap choker or um, like this one I just did like small silver chain choker you know I mean you can just search whatever kind of choker you're looking for they've got a lot of them on there so I've got this like regular kind of thicker one this one is kind of like a lacy sort of one love that this one's kind of like a thinner um, what would this be like a velvet sort of a choker, so I just love them. I think they're so 90s and cool. Pair them with a 90s lip and it's just a fun time. And then my other kind of random thing is that I've been loving adding some kind of like fun decor to our house. Like I'm pinning a lot, I'm going to estate sales, um, thrift stores, I wanna start looking for garage sales, I've been going to antique malls, and just like looking on Pinterest for inspiration and then finding some little like treasures various places. and. I'm loving vintage farmhouse, but then mixed with a little bit of modern. So it's probably kind of more, almost like a little bit industrial mixed with modern. And the modern would be kind of like art. Like I love modern art with splashes of color and stuff like that mixed with some cool vintage pieces. I don't know, it doesn't sound like it would go, but it kind of does and it's just artsy and different and creative and I'm loving it. So I did put a post on um, Instagram with a really cool thing, a couple of cool things that I found, so you can check that picture there. All right guys, so that wraps up my favorites for this month. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this month. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.